To people here at Suffolk Downs, horse racing isn't just a way to earn a living, it's a way of life. A lot of people are here, whether they be working on the backstretch or on the front lines in the mutual windows or they work here in some other supporting type of job. Uh, this is a way of life for these people and they're doing it not just for money, but they're doing it out of the raw, visceral love of the horse. And that love for the horse shows through how they conduct themselves and by the way, a track like Suffolk Downs does its business. It's really nice to come now, and it's 9 o'clock in the morning, and there's cars parking and people going in, and I'd love to see Suffolk. It's a nice old track who have been around since the 1930s. What nicer thing to then keep racing in the state. Suffolk Downs being a tradition since I grew up in this area, they just see Suffolk Downs full as a great opportunity for the community to celebrate. Bring the family, enjoy the day, it's, you're outside, it's a show, it's, it's like a whole show. Go horses go. Go horses go, right? Well, something the whole family can do together. It's proud of Rosie, proud of Rosie and Miss Hobie, it's peekaboo Irish, peekaboo Irish. Miss Hobie, Miss Hobie. From every aspect of, of racing, I mean, it's changed so much since new owners taken over. I mean, every little detail around the, the, the whole track, all the way from down from the hot walkers to the grooms to the trainers and owners, takes very, very good care of us. I mean, it's, it's, it's like night and day from what it used to be. Check out some races, bet on some ponies. Well, we're really excited that the oh, sausage and pepper here. stand is open. <laughs> Pretty intense. I mean, just when the horses come close to that finish line, everyone's yelling and screaming. So we like to look at the names, and that's how we choose. Yeah.